What's going on guys? It is Glick here and today I'm bringing you guys a different type of video. This is about Hearthstone. I haven't made any Hearthstone videos for a very long time and I'm trying to break that streak uh, starting today because yo today is an exciting day for all you Hearthstone players out there because Blizzard just announced um, the latest expansion for Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft which is called Whispers of the Old Gods. Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft Whisper, what is it? Whispers or Whisper of the Old Gods? Anyway, so yeah, this is a brand new expansion for Hearthstone, new cards, uh, you know, new game boards, all that kind of stuff. And in this video, I just kind of wanted to go over every single thing they've pretty much touched on thus far. Now, I want to mention I did not catch, um, I actually wasn't able to catch the, the live stream like as it happened because I was at work. Uh, while it was going on, I don't understand why they hold these things so early in the freaking morning. You should really do it in the afternoon or in the evening when people are off work so they can watch. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, regardless, I was able to, uh, you know, they have pretty much all the details on their website. So I was able to look up everything. And uh, also some stuff is hearsay. I've been hearing people say on social media about it. And so I've kind of compiled like a small little list of things that I wanted to talk about. It's so pretty much every single thing that they've talked about themselves but i want to go a little in depth about some stuff um so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing in this video so as i've already stated this is a brand new expansion so you know that means that uh we're getting brand new cards um uh possibly maybe some brand new game modes down the line and usually with um, a brand new expansion means we'll probably at some point get some uh, new adventures. But in terms of what we're getting on launch day, so when this comes out, is uh, we're likely to get at least uh, 100 brand new cards. Um, I think the last expansion was closer to 200 cards, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, at, we're going to get at least 100 brand new cards. I'm hoping it's not that many because um, I still actually need to catch up on the Grand Tournament. Um that's kind of when that when that expansion came out. I've I kind of like slowed down playing a bit and eventually just completely stopped playing for several months. And now with this expansion, I'm planning to. Um, well, I've lately I've been like jumping back into the game, getting ready for this this expansion. But anyway, as far as the cards are concerned, we're likely to get uh, um, at least a hundred brand new cards. Um, a new game board for sure. So there will be a themed game board um, that is uh, I guess styled. Um, styled uh, for this particular expansion um, we're also getting a new card back that's also for this expansion themed for this expansion um, and maybe we might get new heroes down the line as well I don't know if the, I, I really don't know they haven't really been as far as I know they haven't announced too much but there is a possibility that we will get some heroes um, that might have something to do with the old gods I don't freaking know I don't even know what the old gods are like I I I don't really know who they are and why they matter. It, it sounds spooky, but, like, who are they? It's probably some wild lore that I still don't understand. I don't even think I've heard about it. And I I remember watching videos on a lot of wild lore, but, like, the old gods, that's never, like, I've never heard anything about that until now. Um, But, yeah, so when you, um, when you purchase your first pack for the game, you're going to receive a legendary, uh, C I think it's pronounced Seethun. That's the... Um, he's he's one of the one of the newly announced legendary cards um you get that when you pur purchase your first pack or packs either one um as you also get uh two beckoner of evil cards i'm going to go over all these cards um very shortly here um but yeah you get you get all three of those cards i guess you know one of the cards you just get two of each um but yeah you get all those cards when you purchase your first pack or packs um so that's pretty cool you don't really have to worry about having to draw them and i'm pretty sure there's a reason for that and i will probably go into that um in a second as well and um yeah as i said we are getting a new card back which you will be getting when you pre-purchase um the 50 packs um the and that's i believe that's the only way you could actually pre-order the game is by um pre-ordering 50 packs so if you want to get that card back you you have to pre-order 50 packs and i think they they discount when you pre-order they discount it so you're probably going to get it ten dollars off so usually it's sixty dollars for 50 packs i believe so you're going to be getting 50 packs for fifty dollars so you're pretty much just getting one pack for a dollar um, which is nice it's a pretty nice discount i guess um and i actually completely forgot about that that just reoccurred to me just now um but yeah, that's basically what you're getting um, right off the bat um, if you pre-order or if you just buy a pack in general. Oh, also, one thing I also want to mention is that apparently when you log in on launch day, if, I think it has to be on launch day. If you log in on launch day, 
you get three packs, uh, three of the packs from the expansion. So you'll get three Whispers of the Old Gods um, uh, packs so for free, so you don't have to pay for anything, which is pretty nice. That's pretty cool. I don't know if they did that with the Grand Tournament. I absolutely don't remember, but I think they might have done it with one of the older expansions. Maybe they, or maybe, well, there weren't were really that many expansions, only three, including this one. Um, but maybe they did it with the the uh, goblins versus gnomes. I'm not 100% sure. But regardless, that's pretty nice that we are getting three free packs. I like that idea very much. So I don't want to spend too much time talking about um, the newly announced cards because I know there's going to be a ton more announced pretty soon. And uh, if I spend a ton of time every single video like going in-depth about each card, more than likely I'm going to end up ranting a lot and I'm going to end up saying stuff that I really do not know, basically speaking out of my ass. So I'm going to try and keep it uh, a little bit short and simple about some of the new cards. But the first card that I'm going to be talking about is Beckoner of Evil. Now, two drop. So um, this, I guess, battle cry, give your Seathun plus two, plus two. I don't know what they mean by wherever it is. Like, is that supposed to be a funny joke or something? I don't know. But but anyway... um. Overall, I guess as a two mana card, it looks pretty decent. I mean, a two three that's not that's not terrible. There's a ton of two drops that are people that people are using right now that are two three that don't really do much. Um, but yeah, this is a this is an all right one, I guess. Um, the only thing, the only problem I see with this is that I mean, see them as a ten mana card, so like, I basically have to wait until turn turn eleven to even to even uh, utilize this card. So. I, I, personally, I think it's it's just kind of a waste of a two mana card, but um, I know there's going to be some people who are going to make it work. Some people are going to come up with some theme deck to make it work, but um, overall, it's just a really basic card, I guess. And if you have a deck that's planned around Seathun, I could definitely see this working out in your favor. So next card on the list is Corrupted Healbot. Now, the first thing I thought when I saw this is that it's a really risky five drop. 6-6, six, six, uh, 5 mana, you know, I just feel like this is just one of those cards that your opponent is just going to remove right away. Usually by turn 5, you have some sort of decent removal and at least a few minions on the board to be able to clear, like, bigger minions. Um, I know, uh, what's the card that Druid has? See, I'm really bad with card names, but when, like, people say the card name, I know exactly what they're talking about. But I always forget the name of the cards, like, when, <laughs> when I'm on my own. Um, but basically, you know, the 4-6 uh, Druid drop... Uh, Ah oh, man, something of the claw. <laughs> I can't believe I don't remember these names. It's so freaking bad. But anyway, um, just like that card, you know, it's removed a lot right when it's dropped. So I see this as, um, as being a being in a similar situation. And the only and the downfall to this one is that your opponent does gain eight health. Um, can get eight health restored whenever uh this card dies. So I mean. Uh, that's pretty risky in my opinion. And I also feel like there are minions with a lot better value for less removal reward for your opponent. So overall, I feel like it's a really questionable card. Um, yeah, I don't know. I actually don't think anybody's going to use this very much. If someone does, they have come up with something that... If someone does use this and makes it work, they have come up with something that is far beyond my comprehension. So, I mean, if you already have a really good idea for this card... Uh, then yeah, props to you. And next up on the list is Seathon himself. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I really have to say about this card. Um, I will say that I am interested to see how this card plays out. Um, basically, battle cry deal damage equal to this minion's attack randomly split among all enemies. Um, so it's basically like, uh, man, what is that? Card? See, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting all the cards i'm forgetting all the names but it's basically like that paladin card where you know you split damage among all the all the um all of your um minions or all of your opponent's minions um kind of like that but in return you get a six six but for 10 mana i don't really know by by turn 10 you've got to have like your opponent just got to have some sort of removal Let's just deal with it right away and considering the fact that it's split the damage, the damage equal to the attack is split among all of your opponent's minions. If your opponent has, I don't know, say three minions on the board by turn 10, this card is almost absolutely useless. Odds are your opponent's going to run in, trade with one of their minions, and maybe finish it off with a very, um, a very cheap, uh, cheap remove, cheap mana uh, removal card. That's what I'm thinking is usually going to happen with this card. Um, and also considering the fact that you can't really get any buffs out of it until the turn afterwards when you uh, play either your um, Beckoner of Evil or any of the other cards that uh, that will benefit Seathun. Um, yeah, you basically have to wait till turn 11 to uh, really get full value out of this card and really, you know, really ramp them up, basically. So, I don't know. I just, I'm just i I'm really interested to see if anybody's going to use this, at all, use this at all. I feel like the reason why they showed this card off first, or showed these cards off 
first in general is because they're like really mediocre and i don't know i just feel like they're not really that great um but you know like i said before people come up with interesting stuff so i'd like to see how it works once again these cards were just revealed like i don't know not too long ago and i'm just now seeing them like i've literally my my first time setting my eyes on these cards were like 10 minutes ago from the time i was recording this video so i haven't had much time to think about um what might work what might not work in a in a deck with these cards in them but um yeah i'm basically these are basically just my first impressions so my thoughts and ideas could completely change um you know as they start to reveal more cards and as we get closer to release all right so polluted healer is another one of those i guess cards that they've announced like i just don't know what what really to say about it i mean i i guess that's really the only thing i have to say about it um four 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 mana four two death rattle draw a card in my opinion, it's just basically pretty much guarantee that your opponent is going to remove this on turn four. No way they're gonna let like this thing just stick around. It's really it's I mean, it's really cheap and you only draw one card. I mean, if it was two cards, then I'd be like, eh, I don't I don't know, should I let it stick around? Should I try and silence it? But I mean, with for two defense, like you just get rid of it right away. You don't even have to worry about the four damage going to your face. It's basically almost it's basically as if your opponent just I don't know, it's basically if your opponent just played a card or played a spell that allows you to draw a card on turn four. That's how I see it. I mean, because this is just going to die right away. You could just run like a useless minion into this and it's gone. Your opponent just gets one card and they basically just wasted their turn. So I feel like people are only going to use this card if they if their deck really heavily relies on card draw like if it really needs it really 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 bad and they have nothing else to turn to they're probably going to turn to this card. Um, But I mean in any other situation or in any other scenario, I don't think it, this card will ever be played on turn four. Um, I think it might be a good card to play, I don't know, like late in the game when you actually have extra mana to spend. Um, but otherwise, if you're looking for a card to play on turn four that will at least stick around for a little while and grant you a card, um, I think Namish Adventure or Cult... Namish Inventor or Cult Master would, uh, are much better choices. Um, yeah, you don't get as much attack power out of Namish Eventer, but at least you get a card and it's going to stick around for a little bit. And uh, for Cult Master, I don't know, if you have extra minions on the board, you could just trade them in or, I don't know, do what you got to do to get that extra card draw. And at least you're not restricted to one card only when you draw with, uh, well, when the ability activates um, with Cult Master. Oh, Seethon, you just get so much support, don't you? Yeah, Twilight Elder is just another one of those Seethon support cards. Three drop, uh, three, four. At the end of your turn, give Seethon plus one, plus one. Yo, that's not even worth it. Like, plus one, plus one? Why isn't it plus two, plus two? How come? And you gotta wait till the end of your turn? Like, what is... I don't... Yo, I actually don't understand this. I actually don't understand this. Why is it that Beckoner of Evil is a two drop? Battle Cry give Seathun plus two plus two before a three drop you gotta wait till the end of your turn to get the buff how does that make any sense that's right it doesn't i i, I don't even understand <laughs> this is like a huge slap in the face but anyway um i guess in general as a as a three drop overall i guess it's all right i mean three four isn't that bad but for the most part i feel like people are just gonna stick with spider tank again unless your deck is centered around seethon i just see people going with spider tank because it has much more synergy with a lot more decks that people are running if you got more mech cards in your deck and it seems like they're not uh they're not completely straying away from uh, making new net mech cards in this uh in this expansion i'm just assuming people are going to keep running you know um people are going to keep running spider tank and get a little bit more synergy um out of the cards other cards in their deck whereas with this it just seems like you wouldn't get much synergy unless you are your deck is centered around uh red deck is centered last around. up and oh my god i cannot believe i spent this much time talking about like a handful of cards i'm so sorry guys for wasting your time <laughs> last up is validated doomsayer okay so this is probably my favorite newly announced card thus far I'm, I'm 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 liking this so far i'm liking this now the first thing i thought when i saw this is oh yeah this is probably going to work well with druid decks um you know anybody who's who kept their token or just token druid in general um it'll work well with innervate um etc like-minded cards like that um oh yeah the ability basically at the start of your turn set this minion's attack to seven so you know it's got to stick around for you're going to drop it on one turn or you just drop it on turn five it's got to stick around for turn it's got to stick around for your up uh, your opponent's turn five or whatever their turn and then once it backs to yours you get that you get that clean seven attack that's what i'm talking about um 
But yeah, I feel like if you can get this out early, it'll be a huge problem. And I think people who I, I really feel like druids are going to benefit the most with this. Um, I could be wrong, but based, I mean, based upon Doken or just keeping into consideration Token Druid and Innervate and just running those cards um, or those theme or those focused decks, I think um, I think Druid will definitely be able to take advantage the most of this card. Um, but yeah, getting it out early, that's going to be a huge problem for your opponents. Um, and I feel like people are most likely going to run too if they're going to run it at all. Um, I also feel like it's <laughs> it's like a huge removal bait. Like that's what it is. Like yo, seven attack. If you do not remove this, you're gonna take you're gonna take that clean seven that the clean seven fists to the face. So you got to get rid of this like right away. And you know, having two of them, it's basically you're basically draining your opponent's removal. And I feel like everybody's going to run this card. Like everybody's gonna use this card as a means to kind of like. Um, to kind of bait your opponent into removing them i i i there is there is a possibility that people will just run more silences that might be a little bit more effective and a little bit more cheap just so and just wiser in general you kind of want to you kind of want to keep your uh you kind of want to keep your um, big removal cards for the later for the later games also um this actually just occurred to me now big game hunter will probably just come come back like a lot like everybody will probably be running at least one big game hunter to get rid of this and i think one silence or maybe two silences would be good as well maybe even three because they might have might have other cards that you absolutely need to silence especially if if druids are running this like you're gonna want to silence some shit so um I think this card will make Big Game Hunter come back. This card will also be able to bait removal pretty well. And um, this card will also uh, be uh, strongly advising people in a way to uh, put more silences into their deck. And I, f I also feel like its ability is pretty intimidating um, for its mana cost. Five mana, that's that's pretty cheap for what you get. I mean, yeah, five mana. There are some... I, I think there's a few cards with like um, better attack or better attack and uh, high defense at least for five mana, but I don't think they have like that ability. Maybe you get like a, a four, seven with five mana. I don't know if there's any cards like that. I don't know from the top of my head, but um, yeah, I just overall feel like for five mana and for its ability, I think, I think it's pretty good. Oh, also, yo, I just realized this just now. Oh my God. I just realized this just now. So big game hunter can only get rid of cards that have seven attack or higher considering the fact you don't get the plus seven buff until your turn that's a free seven damage yo yo this card this card is big game hunter safe this card is big game hunter safe on ability activation that's godlike oh my god that is so godlike definitely definitely my favorite um favorite newly announced card thus far i will probably be running this for sure oh man i can't wait to use it but at the same time i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to face like a ton of other people uh who are running it as well anyway in conclusion that's all the cards and um yeah i mean at the end of the day i'm i'm really excited for all the new cards and i'm excited for the new formats as well um more specifically i'm just excited for the standard format i don't really want to have to stress over getting all the goblins and and gnome cards i think uh curse of naxxramas is is getting the getting the boot as well and i think one more there's one more there was one more there's another adventure that's getting the boot right I don't even I honestly don't even remember, but I think it, it might be it might actually just be those two. But regardless, I'm just ready for standard format because there are a lot of cards from goblets and gnomes that are like being run right now that I don't have and I don't really feel like catching up um with with that expansion. And I also need to catch up with the grand tournament as well. But um yeah, I mean overall that's that's probably what I'm excited for the most about like this expansion is and are the new formats. Um, but also I wanted to mention that if you have left the game for a certain amount of time or for a long period like me, like if you've left the game before, I don't know, before the Grand Tournament has come out, but you were playing, like if you were playing before the Grand Tournament came out, but before the adventure before the Grand Tournament, God, I hope that makes sense. Basically, if, you st if you've stopped playing the game anywhere from between the last, I don't know, four to eight months um, I think this is the best time to jump back into the game, uh, especially if you want to be playing competitively, because if you've missed out on some cards from some older expansions, you're not going to need them anymore. And, you know, new expansion, you're going to have to buy new cards anyway. And so this is a lot better. This time is a lot better than just waiting, like, I don't know, waiting until the end of the year. I don't know why you would, but this is a lot better time to be uh, getting back to the game rather than waiting until the end of the year to get back in where there might be another adventure coming out. There will more than likely be an adventure by the end of the year out because they'll probably announce one at BlizzCon. Um, 
But yeah, basically, if you want to play competitively, I think this is the best time to get into the game. Even if you're brand new, even if you're brand new, this is the best time because you only you only have three sets of three sets of um three sets of three Hearthstone sets, I guess, that you need to focus on getting, which is um, God, what's this called? It's uh, what is it? Black Rock, Black Rock Mountain. Is it Black Rock Mountain? Man, I don't e- I don't even know anymore. Just the, <laughs> just worry about the Grand Tournament and the. What was it the League of Explorers? I don't even remember the titles anymore, man. I just I just completely fail. But those are basically the main two that you want to worry about, as well as the neutral cards, and then this one, of course. So if you're new to the game, I mean, and you you you're hesitant to fully dive into it because you don't want to ha- worry about getting all the cards. Don't don't worry too much about it because the new standard format makes it a lot more approachable, um, and a lot uh, a lot better for uh, newer players to get involved, especially um, when playing competitively. Um, but yeah, I've heard word that uh, I didn't watch. Like I said before, I didn't watch the stream, but I've heard word that it is uh, planned to launch late April, early May. The expansion that is. So I mean, you've got like a full month um, to uh, prep for it. So if you want to catch up on any of the other previous exp- expansions that aren't getting ruled out um, once the patch drops, then yeah, this is like the perfect time to do so. And that's basically what I'm doing now. I'm gonna be playing a lot of arena. Um, you know, just kind of. I don't know, I guess kind of rebuilding my fundamentals for the game because I haven't really been playing competitively um, in a in a quite a long time, probably since like, uh, I don't know, since like Smash 4 drops, Super Smash Bros. I haven't really been playing that much. I kind of fell off a lot around that time. So now I'm kind of get, getting back into things a little bit. And uh, yeah, with that said, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be doing some more Hearthstone content. I'll be back doing Arena Run, re- arena run Weeklies and all that other kind of stuff. So I'm um, looking forward to that as well. But yeah. Anyway, that basically does it for my small little coverage. This probably ended up being a very long video. But yeah, that basically does it for my, uh, I guess, part one of coverage for um, Whispers of the Old Gods. And I'll probably do uh, more of these videos as new cards are announced. I'll try to make them a lot quicker when going over the cards because I really don't want to spend forever talking about them. But um, anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop it a like. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so. I really appreciate it. And if you want to talk about the uh, talk about the new expansion, you got something to add, feel free to drop a comment. Um, and yeah, all that other good stuff. But uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you all later. You guys keep on gaming. Peace out. Of the ones from long ago. There's an evil that's been dreaming, but now it's softly screaming. From the darkness, their power will grow. Their voices are made of poison. When you listen, you are sure to be disturbed. You can lock your doors. You can't say your prayers. No creature can resist their wicked words. That's all just a story of the whispers of the old.